Good day, everyone. It is currently the 20th of February, 2012, and out here across the Western Pacific today, we are still watching the area of the disturbed weather there in the South China Sea. It has been sheared apart. Uh, JMA is still calling this area a tropical depression, though, but it is very weak and really does not see any of those features that you would typically see with a tropical system out here. At this time, though, it is producing a heavy amount of rainfall, and actually, if we pull back and let's look at the surface analysis, Produced by the Thailand Meteorological Department, I do like using their surface analysis because it does show over such a broad area. They do show that tropical depression there in the South China Sea slowly drifting off towards the west. But check this out. See all these areas dark colored here, all the black uh, circles basically? That means complete cloud out here or overcast skies and also some symbols next to these indicating some heavy rain showers well that's because you do have the high pressure ridging in from the north interacting with this tropical low down in here and producing that broad band of rain showers and actually some very heavy precipitation being seen out across Luzon in just the past 24 hours. And actually, just check out this number right in here, looking at 292 millimeters just outside of Manila in the past 24 hours alone. This is definitely spelling the potential for some severe flooding out there and already seeing several reports of landslides down here in Visayas in just the last few days. So with that being said, expecting this rainfall to continue to occur here in the next several days as that broad area of thunderstorms and rain showers across this entire region here does continue to persist but not only in the Philippines but if we look off here towards the west actually looking out toward Thailand you are seeing some heavy rain showers 53 millimeters in just the past 24 hours there out in their Phuket and uh, as we push up towards Bangkok you're actually seeing upwards of 54 millimeters so some still not as bad as over there in the Philippines but actually this big monsoonal of a convection here is definitely bringing some heavy rain showers across all of southeastern Asia so with that being one definitely needs to keep their guard up on not only this tropical depression here but that entire broad band of convection but this is actually just looking at the graphic real quick from JMA they are still calling it a tropical depression almost stationary with winds of 30 gusting up to 45 knots and if we pull back and look at some ASCA we can confirm those winds up here actually looking at about 25 up to 30 knots indicated in here in the red and also here you do only have about a half a pass but you are seeing that cyclonic circulation or the counterclockwise circulation around this tropical depression here thus JMA is still calling it a tropical depression out here even though it is fairly unorganized at the time but it does have a complete circulation so still continuing to watch that area I do not expect it to further intend intensify though it is going to continue to pop off these broad bands of rain showers and thunderstorms out there across the Philippines and actually let's look out here on Monday at 06 Zulu that's where we're gonna be using this GFS model outlook here and as we look out here into the next several days on Tuesday into Wednesday see those rain showers continuing to occur out here and actually you're going to see a big pocket of thunderstorms start to push off here towards the northeast. So you could see some fairly good shot of heavy rain showers out there across the Vuke Islands, including Okinawa, by Tuesday into Wednesday. But also, let's look out here towards Wednesday, seeing those rain showers continuing to persist. Might see them taper off by Wednesday and the Thursday, but you're going to be seeing those drenchers still out there, especially in the afternoon and the evening hours down there in southeastern Asia. But lastly, let's continue to look out here onto Thursday and then to Friday. Look at Japan out here across much of Japan out there towards even eastern China as well we have a low developing up here at this time and this is going to be bringing some fairly heavy rain showers but snow at least at this time does not look like a very significant problem especially for much of southern Japan because check this out 528 line all the way out there towards the Seguro Strait so anything south of that's really going to be seeing the heavier rain showers instead of snow but as we look out there until the weekend you start to see a 528 line dip towards the south Behind that, that's where you're going to be seeing the potential for snow showers, at least on Saturday and into Sunday. And then we even see another westerly low starting to form up there over much of eastern China. And that potentially bring another shot of heavy rain out there to much of Japan with the west. And lastly, let's look at our high temperatures over the next 24 hours. Actually, some uh, cheat scattering cold out here all the way up to about Seoul. You are seeing only 4 degrees out there. So that's looking at the high. Tokyo, a little bit of a warm-up. That to 
doing upwards of six degrees today. As we look down there towards much of Beijing and into Shanghai, looking at six and twelve, but really steamy down there still in the Philippines. Thus, you do have that tropical weather and temperatures in the mid to high twenties. And as we continue to push south, still even seeing those temperatures out there. But we just always remember, remember that stationary boundary is right in here, extending across eastern China, just south of Japan right now. That's where that polar front jet is, and that's why you have that significant difference between the single digit temperatures off here towards the north and that's nice and warm temperatures down there towards the south but that is all for right now everybody thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com if you have any questions comments or suggestions as always please post them in the comment box below always up for more suggestions and really do like to hear your feedback especially if you're in any of these areas out here that are seeing those significant floodings or having rains today so that's all for right now though oh lastly i do want to mention now uh, this is going to be my last video update for at least several weeks by late march i'll start kicking these back up as well and also at least by early april you're going to be able to find me at nhk world doing the weather around there so make sure you get out there get the app or get the uh get the website in your favorites there you definitely can go ahead and watch us here or if you do have them on cable please go ahead and check it out i'll be bringing you the weather there every day so thanks again for watching everybody have a great day